I'm a volunteer for Mind Your Mind and I'm here with Wilson for Power Park We Drive. Uh, for our first question, we have what is the meaning behind the name Park We Drive? Uh, it's actually where we're from. It's uh, the name of the street that uh, our drummer is on. And they have a house there which we uh, practice in that we've all kind of built in some little way before. So, you know. <laughs> nice. uh, what artists inspire you most when growing up? I missed that one, sorry. Yeah. What, what artists inspire you most when growing up? Ah, oh, good question. Uh, it's different for every person in the band, but um, for me, uh, Bands like Bad Religion and NoFX and later on heavy Australian bands like that, Tempe Mind Center and stuff like that. But stuff that the music I like it. That was the inspiration for that. Uh, when did you realize you wanted to be a musician? <laughs> I don't think I'm a musician now. <laughs> um, I, uh, I got drawn to this kind of music because it had uh, a kind of expression and a passion that I didn't find anywhere else. And I do what I do because I don't think I am a musician. I, I, I can't play an instrument and I can't sing, so I just scream a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, 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 I guess that's why I do it. Um, what's the weirdest or the funniest thing that has happened to you while on tour? Oh, um, <laughs> there's a fair few of those. Um, either almost being hit by a tornado, that was pretty insane, or um, when we were, we were playing a, a, a show in Mayorka, which is an island off uh, Greece, um, I jumped into the water off the cliff and then the band were playing and also jumped in and they forgot to tell me they couldn't swim, so I had to rest in the band, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, what would be the best tour you would be in, or the best tour lineup you would like to be in? Mm. Um, I'll start with the Warriors, and lucky enough we're touring with them at the moment as well, but they're like my best friends in the world, so that's pretty awesome. I'd say the Warriors, Bad Religion, um, Gaslight and Elvis, I don't think that one's coming around though, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what has been the biggest challenge you have, you've had to surpass as a band? Um, Everything's been a challenge, and not in a bad way though. Uh, it's just uh, we never really tried to go anywhere with the band. We just played our music, and people kind of said, "Hey, what about trying to try to release a record or trying to tour or something like that?" And they're all challenges when they came along. We just chose to try and do it. So every every day we go somewhere new. It's a challenge for us. It's just we find that challenges don't necessarily have to be negative. Uh, have you about to surpass as a man? Uh, what inspired you to write in the Um, interest. Um, we, we wrote Deep Blue in a very different way than we've written anything in the past, and we tried to do it because we found it, again, to be a challenge. Um, we wanted to push ourselves to write something in a way that we can do. I tried to write the lyrics in a different way, so it was as a whole narrative as opposed to just a bunch of different songs about it. So it's, it's definitely a personal album, but at the same time, it's taken on a various variety of different topics. <laughs> it's kind of a hard question to answer that one because it's a very big album. Um, you've mentioned in past interviews that Deep Blue is about someone who discovers that he does not belong, that his world is not real, it's just a lie. Um, and on the song Deliver Me, the lyrics, I see the light, I see the end, I see frail hope crushed by the weight of the world, my will is broken, sinking always. Thinking the sun of time for for earth living. Would you say this song is about depression and suicide? Um, not so much about suicide. It's definitely about dealing with uh, mental issues. Um, it was inspired by uh, the struggle that a friend of mine had done. His I, 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 I think uh, the human mind is incredibly, incredibly powerful, even if we don't necessarily understand uh, even close to the potential it has, so it can be positive and it can also be very negative. And um, I think people fail to realise how powerful it can actually be on, uh, on a person when they don't necessarily have the capacity to understand how it's, how it's working around them. And um, seeing the through the struggles that he's had and he's luckily come out and get inside a 
a better fit person for it. So, uh, interesting, interesting, and it's inspiring. It was very scary for both our friends and him. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there that yeah, deal with this on a everyday basis. So, yeah, people just need to. Uh, we, we spend all this time looking out outside the world for all these interesting mysteries and stuff, and we don't really understand what's going on inside our own heads. So, yeah, that's what that's all about. Um, what are your thoughts on the, the highest depression and suicide rate on America, and what would you say to people struggling with that? It's a, it's a really sad thing that, that, that it exists, but again, it is. It's, like I said, like the human mind is such a powerful, powerful, um, and it's, it's sad that there's still a, a stigma or a negative stigma attached to suicide and depression and that people would have a somehow stigmatize as being or whatever or see this like are too scared to seek help or talk to us about anyone about it. It's such a, a, a common thing to say. To say the least, like to, to most of them suffering from those, I guess, mental processes is not a clear thing these days, and hopefully it can be improved in the future. Okay. Um, so, taking things on a lighter note, what do you think is the most about Australia? Uh, home. <laughs> it's, um, we it, it, it really is, like it's, it's a beautiful place, it's really lucky. And now we go home to it. But um, we spend at least six months of the year away uh, touring, so it's, it's one of those things that comes a lot. <laughs> Being able to sleep in the same bed for more than one night in a row is something that you don't realize how amazing it actually is until you get the chance to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what makes your music different from other bands of the same genre? I don't know. That's a question that gets asked a lot, and we still don't have an answer for it. And we talk about it a lot because we still don't know how to answer that one. For us, we've just we've always just written music we like, and we like playing, and, and that's kind of it. And I know there's a million bands out there that sound so similar to us, and I don't know why people have chosen to that top of us. Thank you very much for supporting us. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard one to answer. Um, for a lot of the question, uh, what would be a song you listen to when you are in a bad mood and when you are in a good mood? That's a really good question. To be honest, I don't really have necessarily um, bad mood and good mood songs. I just kind of listen to music, like in general. So it's not, I don't necessarily have a playlist I go to when I'm feeling good or a playlist I go to when I'm feeling happy. Um, I find that the music kind of dictates me more than the music dictates me as a choice. So I listen to some stuff that's really slow and really chilled out and that might just be a bit deeper and I listen to stuff that's really fast and really heavy and makes me really excited. So, yeah. <laughs> bit, yeah, I just listen to everything so yeah, it's kind of hard to find. Well, thank you for spending time with us. Thanks. Um, this is Wilson from Parker Drive and this was my Thank you.